All right, this is Mr. Jern again, and uh, we're on our final video for activity 1.1.1 for principles of engineering. This is the distance learning version. And uh, so like I've been saying, uh, like I said in the first video, instead of building these machines, you have just examples of them either pre-built or just real life examples with measurements already given. So I, uh, you click the link and you'll get back to this page and let me one more time close this little menu off to the side because I don't want that there. It just takes up screen space. F11, of course, we'll get rid of the top bar as well, but I'm gonna keep mine there because, well, as you can see, I already got a tab loaded. And so I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here. We are on, or at least I'm talking about right now, the incline plane. We'll talk about the screw right after that. So the incline plane activity. Uh, definitely something you wanna do is review the, um, uh, the, the 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 slides like it says one through ten on this one uh, I made the video about it you can you can go back and look at that uh, and uh, see if I have anything to add to that but reviewing it on your own might just be good enough it's up to you okay so you're gonna want to do that because you want it to again I've got it written down here you're probably gonna want it written down in your engineer not probably you're gonna want it written down in your engineering notebook so you're gonna make a new section for the incline plane maybe jot down a couple things about the incline plane. Uh, from these notes, definitely a very good idea. Um, so specifically, you want the distances, which is the effort, which is the, uh, the, the, the resistance, that kind of stuff, okay? All that basic stuff. So simple machines resource is also very good to uh, keep handy. So we have a diagram of an inclined plane right here. We got a box, a rope or string, and a pulley system where something is pulling it downward. Here is a an inclined plane built into a no by the way this is a fixed pulley so the the ama is just one uh so that doesn't change anything there uh so i just wanted to throw that out there the pulley does nothing in this except change the direction because it's a fixed pulley so here we have a pulley system uh, i'm sorry an inclined plane system machine built in the vex system and we basically have a one kilogram um mass here along with a little cart to pull it we're going to just sort of ignore the whole cart and just call this whole thing one kilogram it'll make things a lot easier 2.2 pounds if you remember and you can see the string set up with the force sensor once again telling us that we're going to probably have to get some force measurements just like before so here is our on shape okay here is the example actually we're not going to have to because it's on on shape i think um so no, we're going to have to because, man, I'm just thinking this through. Uh, second guessing myself is uh, probably something you, some of you do too. Second guess something you already know for a fact. It's okay to do that, but probably not uh, when you're recording a help video. Uh, all right, so here's my uh, on shape file. I'm going to open that up. That brings me to this. So it's already loaded for me. And as you can see, it's it's it looks pretty much just like the uh, what we've got set up. I'm going to click. I don't want front. Nope, I definitely don't want front. Oh, hey, that moves. Man, see, I learned something. So what I probably want is the right side. All right, maybe I do want the front. All right, so I want the front. I was not paying attention to what was moving. Okay, of course, now this thing's in the way. All right, so here is my setup. Uh, I'm gonna want some information. Who knows what just now? Actually, you probably can guess what, but let's just, um, let's see what we got here. So the video. All right, it's all the way at the end. Um, okay, we got some pulling it. Okay, no, no problems there. The pulley just helps with the direction so he doesn't have to worry about making sure that that string is always parallel. Wonderful. All right, we wanna calculate the ideal mechanical advantage of the inclined plane. Uh, so ideal mechanical advantage, I'm gonna check my notes that I wrote down in my engineering notebook, is the effort distance divided by the resistance distance. So I'm gonna go back to this doohickey here and I'm gonna zoom in just slightly. Uh, this isn't exactly where it was, so I wonder if I can just, like in the video, I don't, I can move it, but it doesn't like to cooperate with me very well. Mm, come back. Well, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Because I don't, it's, it's not where it's at, but I can still make my measurements. So here's my pulley. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just to make this whole thing easier, instead of trying to figure out how to slide this around, I, I mean, I, whoops, I know I could do it, but let's not figure, let, hmm. let me show you the trick, okay? Because remember what I said about VEX, everything is nice and standardized. And so instead of figuring out the distance from the center of the pulley, or maybe even the top of the pulley where the string would go, to maybe wherever this is at, 
I'm going to, because of in the video, you start at the bottom. So let's start at the bottom of our thing here. And let's just, instead of measuring from the pulley, let's go down parallel. So in sense, in essence, I'm going to take a measurement. So I'm gonna click my little measurement tab right here. And I'm going to click from here. So watch what I do, straight down to the bottom. Now, maybe you disagree with where I'm going. Maybe you want to kind of go underneath where the kilogram is at. That's fine. Okay, pick a spot. And this is where the kilogram would be sitting in the actual uh, demonstration. So it says here, and you can see the little black line pops up, the distance the, uh, that the, the kilogram moves, and you decide is it going to be the effort or the resistance distance. Now, you do, it's not like up for debate. I mean, it is one or the other. So make sure you pick the correct thing. Look at the diagrams. Is that the effort distance or is it the resistance distance? You should know this. Okay, I'm gonna leave it up to you to decide and hopefully you choose the correct one because there is a correct answer here. But that distance is 12.5 inches according to what I just measured here, okay? So now the height, we're gonna to have to do a little bit, um, we're gonna to have to measure a little bit differently here. So here's what I'm gonna to try to do. I'm gonna first of all right click, clear my selection. And the height this thing gets to is basically, we'll call it the top of the pulley. Now we're making some sort of back of the envelope um, measurements here. There's no way to actually, like I would love it if we could just get in there and get a get a, a, a ruler. I suppose you could use a ruler on your screen and measure all this, but um, what I'm gonna do just for my sake is just get to the top of that pulley and go down to, oh, it didn't really work. Let's try that again. Top of the pulley down to, and since I can't just measure into the air, actually what I can do is measure down to the bottom again. Now this is interesting because, um, so there is, did I click too many things? Let me just clear my selection because I don't like having all that mess up there. So I'm going to go from the top of my pulley to where I basically started the other one. You know, it's all, all there. And you can see the little black line. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, I'm not, okay, it's measuring it from different points on the pulley. Let's choose center of the pulley, I like that. Okay, see how it's like the max, the minimum. Okay, you can see how the black line changes when you hover over it, okay? So that's fine, but that's not the distance I want. I wanna scroll down just, or not scroll, I wanna move my thing down a little bit, and I wanna actually see what is the height that this thing moved up, okay? And come to think of it, maybe the pulley is not the place to measure it from, right? So right away, like, well, let's, what are you, Mr. Journey, are you trying to throw us off here? No, I want you to just think about this. What is the actual height that the uh, thing moved? So that's not it, this, um, that's not gonna be it. So what I was, what I was, so let's just clear that again, and actually measure the height that it moves. So I'm gonna clear selection. So what is the height? Well, once again, it started here, boom. It ended here. Like, wait, didn't we just do this one? Yeah, but guess what? Look at this. When I do this, I want the height that it moved. Okay, now I apologize if you're colorblind. Honestly, this might throw you off a little bit, but this blue line, can I just keep that there? Nope. Uh, this blue line that, that shows uh, is the height that it moves, okay? So this is actually figuring out the three sides of the triangle for us, which is kind of handy dandy. Uh, we don't want that black line this time. We want the blue line this time, all right? So we want the height. So that is the height that this thing is going to be raised up, and you could do that for all the examples. Uh, you could figure out your ideal, mo ideal mechanical advantage of this incline plane based on that, okay? Now, you want the effort force, so you're going to have to download uh, the file again for graph, Vernier graphical analysis. Um, and just similar to last time, let's see if it does it for me. Do, do, do. It did not. So I'm going to have to go to Untitled, Open. And let's see if I can, yeah. Hopefully that will work. All right, so we will, hey, my whole thing's moving. We will try, try again. So I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna just open up Vernier. Oh, you know what I have actually, it's already running. So I'm gonna close out mine from last time, the last video. Nope, I wanna not save. 
and I'm going to open it up. So this is problem solving and this might happen to you. I'm just going to type in Vernier graphical analysis. It's popping up over here. I'm going to choose my file to open up. I'm going to open up the incline plane one and there we go. See, try, try again. It will work for you. Uh, now what I can do, you can see like this is the part where the, the person wasn't pulling. I'm not 100% sure who it is in this video this time. And this is the part where the person was pulling. So how much effort force did it take? I'm going to highlight that part where the person is pulling. I'm going to go to my little graph tools. I'm going to get my view statistics. And here is the mean force, 1.74. And I'll leave that up to you to translate that into, um, into uh, pounds once again. So use whatever me means you like to use for this kind of stuff. So um, then I'm going to figure out the actual mechanical advantage based on the effort force and the resistance force. What's the resistance force, Mr. Jern? Well, the resistance force is once again, one kilogram, okay? One kilogram. You could double check that with the, I had to un, uh, mute that for uh, Siri to, well, no, I didn't have to unmute it. Well, it is the one kilogram. So once again, you could test that if you want to. Um, ooh, hello. I don't want that, all that. Uh, clear selection, one kilogram. Suppose you could uh, add that on there if you want to, but uh, it actually tells you 2.24 pounds in this case if you actually add on a little tray, which isn't a bad idea. Okay, no need to get sloppy if we don't have to, although it doesn't actually add that. Hmm, very interesting. I am always, we're going to find out a lot of limitations with what we're doing, so bear with me. It's not that I don't. I just never done this necessarily before either, except for the couple of times I did to try it before I'm explaining it to you. So I learn stuff every time I open this program and you will too. In fact, I hope you never stop learning. It's amazing. So you're gonna wanna do that. You get some other uh, inclined planes and uh, basically that is that. So once you're done with the inclined plane, move on to the screw. So we talked about all that. That was the first one. This one, remember the screw. Okay, well, you're like, oh, yeah, Mr. Jordan, I remember that. That was the crazy one. Yeah, so you might need to, like, go back to the slideshow and check out what is the what are the equations for the IMA circumference divided by pitch. What is pitch? Um, oh, yeah, it's that whole, like, the distance between the threads. It's mentioned right here. It's, it's going to be um, 1 over this number. So the pitch is 1 over this middle number. Just want to review all that because, well, it's going to come into handy here. So it's, it's all what I just showed you is, is this PowerPoint again. So gives you uh, some measurements, the bolt diameter. Uh, you're going to have to figure out some, uh, some, some just, again, what is this class all about so far? It is figuring out what are the variables and how do they fit into the equations. Okay, just review how to treat uh, screws and how to figure all this out. You get a couple ideas here, a couple examples, a wood vise, uh, a couple other things, and that's all you got to do. So that is the activity. Once you're completed with that, you are done with the whole activity. You should submit it and call it a day. You can feel proud that you worked through that, okay, because... It's fun, but it is difficult, and obviously it takes a while. So you've learned a ton walking through this, and I am proud of you because it is not easy, and I hope you stick with this because it is rewarding. Have a great day. I will see you soon.